Uh, one comment, 100% of the pedophiles are homosexual or bisexual. So there's this game playing of words of pedophilia and homosexuality, but 100% of those pedophiles are homosexuals. Uh, Representative Wagner. Mr. Chairman, a question for Dr. William Wise, please. Dr. Wise, I appreciate your comments about not being practicing law, but practicing a doc as a practicing doctor. We always get into these issues of law and how it affects society. And I want to lead you through a, a couple uh, things that have been spoken about here, and I just want you to sum up if it's true. Uh, we talk about constitutional privacy and the protection that that privacy provides us. We talk about don't ask, don't tell as a public policy in some relationships. And we talk about consenting, okay, mm -hmm. of which I'm deeply concerned as when consenting begins and when it ends, before and after the sexual act. And we've heard um, Ms. Zupanik talk about that it does no harm to others okay as long as it's consenting would you agree that it does no harm to others as long as it's consensual no I can't on a medical basis <clears throat> I see these cases where one man is HIV positive he has sex oral or anal with somebody else doesn't tell him and distributes this disease and it goes on down the line we ran into this in 1935 with all the syphilis and gonorrhea that was coming out with this uh, wild age after the Second First World War. We had to pass laws for that. And we're seeing the same thing again. We've seen it since uh, HIV first came here. Now, not only HIV, but uh, in the male homosexual, that 3%, <clears throat> there is three times as much syphilis gonorrhea, nonspecific urethritis, there's five times as much hepatitis B, which can be a deadly disease, and of course we have the HIV that we have now. Uh, fortunately, HIV is not a deadly disease anymore, but it can be treated for a long time. But I've seen this, and so I say, no, uh, it may be consenting, but it spreads disease, it spreads disease, it just goes on and on and on. And it's not stopping. It's not getting better. Thank you, Doctor. Follow-up, Mr. Chairman? Follow-up. When we talk about does no harm in the physical sense, can you do you have any statistics or can you give your opinion of the percentage of uh, taxpayer money that's being used uh, to, combat, to combat this, these acts in and amongst? And what portion does the... Uh, percentage of homosexual or um, or uh, these the small percentage people that are homosexual what percentage of the budget of con of um, uh, of uh, combating these diseases are they particularly responsible for by the taxpayer under our current uh, uh, laws that allow for assistance to uh, combat these diseases well I know that the uh, Health and Human Services all have a certain budget towards uh, hygiene uh, in, in these areas. But in that light, when <clears throat> a man becomes, po or anybody becomes positive of HIV, they immediately start to have medicine to be, they have to take it, or else they will go downhill very quickly as they first saw in 1981, 82. Ultimately, these people become disabled. They just can't work. They become so weakened from this that they can't work, and then they go on disability determination. And at that time, the last I read, it cost $35,000 a year just for the medicine, not for anything else from disability, to pay for them and to keep them alive for as long as they live. So that's 35 grand a year. Follow up, Mr. That's, Chairman. Is that coming close that, to what you wanted? That's get, you, we're getting there, Doctor. Uh, follow up. Uh, follow up, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Dr. Weiss, so it not only does physical harm to
to the human species in your conclusion it also does a tremendous amount of economic harm to society as a whole in your conclusion is that correct yes thank you